with vlog number six. A uh, rare opportunity for a midweek shred, so I'm jumping at the opportunity. Um, hoping to continue working on some stamina shred. Uh, so probably shred 30, practice, and then maybe also just some longer strings, even if they're boring. I won't put those in the video though. Uh, and then I don't know, I've been having some ideas for some sick threes, which I might also give a crack at. I uh, also kind of wanted to talk a little bit about Hall of Fame, because that's sort of been a topic that's been uh, kind of hot lately on the Facebook group. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. kind of been a hot topic on the freestyle group lately and you know I saw some people making some jokes on there that I know Ted and some of the folks in the Hall of Fame didn't appreciate and it got me thinking about the whole idea of uh, recognition in our sport and how even though we're a tiny sport haven't been around that long people really do seem to care what other people think be it the classic Big Ed Posse discussions or Hall of Fame, which doesn't come up as frequently, but I think some people care just about as passionately about it. Now I've always been on the side of you really should try and play for your own sake, and uh, if you happen to get recognized, that's fine, but like that shouldn't be what drives you to do the things that you do. I thought I'd share a little story where, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm always on that side of the argument but it's not always so black and white. I think back to USO 2011 in Boise where uh, you know, I made circle finals and I lost to Jordan, I got second place. And that was fine, that, that was like a good result. Uh, but I really had my heart set on the routines. I practiced really hard. I'd never, I hadn't won US Open yet. Uh, and you know, in finals I went dropless and Jim Penske went dropless. But I ended up losing in a very close decision. And that was a really tough thing for me to take. I, I just remember afterwards, uh, I was kind of feeling sorry for myself and talking with my good friend, Kevin Crowley. And you know, I was kind of telling him, yeah, I've worked so hard and you know, I put in all these results. What does it matter if I'm technically BAP or not? Like that shouldn't affect how people perceive me or judge me. And I started really kind of getting down on myself and then Kevin really sort of spoke, talked some sense into me, if you will. I remember very clearly he 
he tried to just cheer me up. He looked at me and he said, hey now, you are an all-star. And he told me to get my game on and to go play. And, uh, you know, seems kind of obvious, but I did just that. I went and I played and I felt a lot better about things. Uh, so I often remind myself about those words of wisdom from, from Kevin.